what's going on everybody uh, I'm out here today um, just gonna let you guys know ahead of time that this is gonna be my last video for a few weeks uh, I'm leaving tomorrow morning on a trip to the Appalachian on the Ninja uh, me my dad and my buddy Ben uh, we're all going to tour the Appalachian Mountains for about 10 days uh, starting at the Tail of the Dragon, ending up near uh, Boone and uh, Linville, Grandfather Mountain, Mount Mitchell, all that good stuff. Gonna be an awesome trip. I uh, can't wait to edit that, but today I'm here to give you a 10,000 mile review on the Ninja 1000. I'm gonna pull in here real quick, do a little walk around, and then I'll ride around and talk about it. The pros and cons of this magnificent bike. I don't know if you guys can see that. 10,120 miles, and I got a fucked up finger. Um, all right, so starting out, I bought this bike brand new. Um, it was a leftover 2012 model. Um, I bought it and towards the end of 2013. Um, I've had it about 10 months now. Um, it had three miles on it when I bought it. Uh, so every mile on it, other than those three miles, are all mine. Um, it looks a lot different than it did when I bought it stock. Um, talk about some of the things I've done to it. Uh, which is obviously the rim tape. I did the zero gravity windscreen. It's just my little decal here. I did the mirror caps. Uh, those are from a ZX-10. If anybody is wondering, they'll fit this bike. Um, they got the CRG two inch mirrors, um, <laughs> the resistance, more resistance, um, levers, I can't remember where I got these, they're like China knockoffs, but they work great, <laughs> just as good as any others. I got the white Shogun frame sliders, um, Vance and Hines. Urban Brawlers. I like the polished. I was going to get the black at first, but I'm glad I got the polished. Um, let's see what else. I got the Moto Dynamic um, Fender Eliminator. I got the Moto Dynamic um, Integrated Turn Signals and all that. Brake light, yeah. Um, fresh new tire for the road trip. Um, I switched from the 190.50 to the 190.55. These. These are Michelin Pilot Road 2s, and they've worked great. Um, I'm still on the front, the original front. I put these on around 2,500, um, 3,000 miles roughly. And, and I got about 7,000 or so, 7,500 out of the rear. The front's still good, obviously. <laughs> um, I can't, I'm trying to think what all I've done to it. Um, Canon air filter, Canon um, oil filter, um, tank pad. Oh, I've already added some carbon fiber, little accents. Did my gas cap. I did my triple tree, top of the triple tree. I did these side pieces. I'll get over here in the sun. I did this, um, I did the rear, or whatever you call this. <laughs> the rear wheel cowl or whatever um, did this carbon fiber wrap all myself uh, it was actually a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be and adds a nice little bit of decal to the bike or a little bit of flash or whatever you want to call it um, I think that's about it um, I run Motul 1040 synthetic oil in it um, ever since about 3,000 miles. Um, I think that is about it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that's it. If I missed anything, I have other mod videos kind of showing, but this is kind of where it stands right now at 10,000 miles. I've done a pretty good amount to it. Um, it looks a hell of a lot sportier than it did when I bought it. Um, all right, so let's get to the review. Alright, so uh, getting into the review, um, like I said, I've had this bike 
um, since it was brand new. So all these miles are mine. Uh, I don't think it's fair to review something uh, when you've only had it for a few days or some whatever. Uh, so. <laughs> So 10,000 miles, this should be a good review. And my plan with this bike, I love this bike, honestly. All right, go ahead and get to the, the uh, spoiler alert, is that I love this bike so much that I do, I have not seen another bike or ridden another bike since I've bought this bike that makes me want to trade this in. And uh, before that, I had gone through eight bikes in uh, seven years of riding. So there you go. Uh, now I've had this bike for almost a year now. And... <laughs> I honestly can say I am completely 100% content with this bike. I just love it. I mean, the power, the handling, um, just everything about it is just phenomenal. I, the comfort, everything. All right, so going over all of this stuff, uh, let's start with the comfort before I forget that. Um, the stock seat, uh, when you first buy the bike, the stock seat sucks terribly bad. Um, and when I first bought it, I could barely do like 150 miles in a day without my ass like sore. So, um, being said that, after about f four or 5,000 miles, the stock seat really started to uh, soften up. And now it's really not that bad at all. I can do about uh, five, 600 miles in a day on the stock seat and be okay. But I do, I put an Airhawk 2 seat pad on this bike um, just because it's a little bit more comfortable. Um, yeah, so being said that, that is my, <laughs> honestly like, that is my only complaint with this bike was the stock seat when I bought it. And like I said, uh, being a sport touring bike, it still could be a little bit more comfortable. But all in all, you can't complain when just everything else about this bike is phenomenal. Um, and when I say phenomenal, I mean phenomenal for me because this bike is completely ideal for what I do. Um, I ride, uh, when I'm home, I ride sport. Um, I ride, you know, obviously I ride with my buddies. Everybody, almost everybody in my group has sport bikes. Um, this bike wheelies, this bike corners, uh, it gets low. It just it handles just like um, a sport bike. Uh, obviously, it doesn't have the high end. It tops out around 160 miles an hour. 163, I think, is what I've maxed out at. Um, but I mean, obviously, that's <laughs> more than fast enough if you're not a total adrenaline junkie. Um, 150, 140. <laughs> Usually pleases me pretty good, um, but I've since then I've I've really only topped this bike out like twice. Um, I just have more fun doing wheelies with it and uh, like lower cornering, lower speed cornering with this bike. It's just awesome. Um, yeah, I've done. Let's see, I've done North Carolina once. I've done New Orleans once. I've done da Daytona Beach once with this bike. So I've done three tours so far um, in the past year that I've had this bike, um, and it's performed flawlessly. I've never had one issue with it. Uh, Ten thousand miles. Um, I did buy the extended warranty, so this bike's under warranty for the next six years, basically, or five now, but. Um, anyways, yeah, uh, I plan on keeping this bike until it no longer wants to run, which I honestly can say that if I treat this bike, um, if you watch my videos, you might think I treat it aggressively because I wheelie a lot and I do gun it <laughs> quite a bit. But I treat it good. I mean, I'm, I change the oil in it religiously. Um, I think I think the book says every 8,000 miles. Uh, I've been doing it around every 4,000 miles, just because. Um, uh, uh, 
<laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's pretty good. Um, the internals on this bike perform flawlessly. Uh, 10,000 miles. I've been wheeling this bike for the past, I don't know, five months, and I have no problems with my clutch, my gears, everything feels great. Obviously, it's still like barely broken in. Um, my plan with this bike is I've I've never kept a bike. I, I've had seven bikes or eight, whatever it is now. Um, I've never ridden a bike more than like 15,000 miles without getting rid of it. I had my Ninja 650. I had uh, 12,000 on that when I got rid of it. And then years ago, I had a CB450E, really old bike. Uh, I think it was made in like the 80s. And uh, I bought that bike with 7,000 miles and I put like 23,000 on it. So like 16,000 miles, whatever. Um, in the year that I had it up in North Carolina. That's a lot for North Carolina. I mean, can't even ride year round there. So, yeah, so my plan with this bike is I would love to hit 100,000 miles with this bike. Um, obviously, that's not going to take very long. Um, I would say within 10 years, I'll hit 100,000 miles. And yes, I do plan on keeping this bike for another 10 years. <laughs> I just want to pay it off and just like ride the shit out of it because I love it so much. Um, I've ridden a lot of bikes, ridden a lot of sport bikes, uh, a lot of super sport bikes, a lot of cruisers. And this bike is like, this bike is like taking a, uh, let's see, power wise, if I had to compare it to a super sport, I would say like a Jixxer 750. Um, but with more torque. <laughs> uh, I think this bike pushes like 140 horsepower and around, uh, I believe it's 80 foot-pounds per torque. Uh, so it's more than enough. I mean, uh, I've ridden CBR 1000s. Uh, I've never ridden anything bigger than a leader bike. I've never ridden like a Hayabusa or a ZX14 or anything, but um, I've ridden a lot of I've ridden a R1, a CBR 1000, and a... No, I've never ridden a ZX10. I've ridden a ZX750, I believe it was. An older bike. Uh, yeah, so... Honestly, this bike has just been phenomenal. I, uh, if you're thinking about buying this bike, go test ride one at a dealership. Any reasonable dealership should let you test ride any bike you want um oh being said that i'll tell you the day that i purchased this bike um the dealership was so willing to basically they're you know the economy sucks here right now uh it's just getting back up and people aren't really buying bikes as much as they used to so obviously i went to the dealership i was looking at this bike um I already had in my mind that I wanted this bike, uh, but there was a few other bikes that I was interested in. And um, so the dealership, he gives me like 10 keys for a bunch of bikes that are out in the front that are like basically demo bikes. Uh, there was a CBR 1000. Uh, yeah, there was a ZX10. I did ride the ZX10. Uh, that was like a 2012 model, I think, right when they redesigned it, I think. I don't know. I don't really pay attention that much. Um, but there was quite a few bikes. There was my buddy's, uh, the ZX6 that you guys have seen in the video. Um, the white and black one. I rode that one before he even bought it. <laughs> um, I rode quite a few bikes that day. I rode a Thruxton, Triumph Thruxton, because I just love the badass look of those bikes. Hey, look, that's where Shaggin' the Wind stayed when he was here. <laughs> I told you, he's like right down from my house. and I didn't get to see the guy, unfortunately. But, um, yeah, I rode quite a few bikes that day, and I ultimately, in the end, I fell in love with this bike. I rode the 2012 model with the black and the silver side bearings, and it was just, uh, you know, I just fell in love right away. And ever since then, it's like I've fallen more deeply in love. That sounds so stupid. But honestly, like every time I mod this bike or do anything to it, I just, it just feels uh, like, you know, like having a new bike, like doing new things to the bike just really like spices everything up.
God, I hate Clearwater. I mean, I like the place, but the traffic is fucking terrible. So I'm gonna whip in here and turn back around. Give you guys one more sight of that beautiful view over what is now my hometown. I'm going. Whatever, dude, you're gonna have to wait. Oh, 25, I better slow it down. There's a cop sitting right here. So yeah, um, yeah. Like I said, this bike is just—it's been phenomenal. It's just flawless. I haven't had any issues with it. It's been a gem. I just love it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was gonna not do a wheelie in this video, but it's really tempting when the bridge is a go. <laughs> this cop. This cop. I tell you. Can I do it? <laughs> Alright, so here's the beautiful view of where I live. And I'll be leaving all this. Uh, only for a short period of time though. Because going to the Appalachian. And I cannot fucking wait. Seriously. I haven't been since last year in September. And oh. I can't wait to ride the tail in Cherahala. Oh my god. All right. Peace out, guys. I will see you in a few weeks, and hopefully, I will have some phenomenal footage for you guys. All right. Peace.